Hey guys, just want to give my thoughts on the recent launch of Metal Gear Online. This is some footage of a silly match I played earlier today actually, where both myself and the enemy teams were only equipped with stealth camo, so that's pretty funny. Um, so I don't know if anyone knows already, but the game only allows three different classes and it kind of determines what kind of gear you get from weapons to grenade types and abilities. Um, so you're a little limited in that regard. In this case, uh, I want to say on average about 70% if not more of the people you're going to see, fight, and play with, maybe even yourself and myself included, all picked the infiltrator class where you have the stealth camo because everybody saw the class listings and was like, hmm, I play stealthy, I'm gonna pick stealth camo because that's what I thought, I'm sure that's what everyone else thought because <laughs> that's how you play the game, it's a sneaking game. Um, but it, uh, it doesn't hurt the game that everyone's basically the same class, but I mean, you could tell that it would really help the overall balance of the teams if other people kind of embrace the other classes. I mean, I guess it's better to have it this way than to have a team of, like, say, enforcers running around, gunning everyone down. That's the, uh, the tank S class, where they wear, like, heavy armor and whatnot. Um, I don't know much about them, so I'm just going to focus on what I know about, which is the Infiltrator. So, if you start out with any of the three classes, you start with nothing. You have, no, like, no customization whatsoever, no weapons, it's just bare bones, play, level up. And once you hit about 10 or 11, you can actually do things pertinent to your class. So, for instance, as Infiltrator, you get your stealth camo, and it's actually alright. Uh, you know, if you're the heavy trooper, you start unlocking like the RPG and C4 and stuff like that. Uh, the scout is able to mark other units and obtain sniper rifles, which are awesome. I wish I picked the scout sometimes just because of um, how fun it looks to snipe other people. So I'll definitely have videos and footage up of sniping and playing as a scout soon. But for now, Infiltrator, this whole match is just me. Um, trying to sneak around, effectively capture enemy teammates, and that's where the first real problem for Metal Gear Online comes from, to me, is it is too hard to sneak and capture people and knock people out, and it doesn't feel as, as fluid as it was in, say, Metal Gear 4's online, where it all of the maps were very tight-knit and streamlined pieces where you would just walk down this specific corridor, that specific corridor, climb that ladder, or climb this rooftop. This game's super open, and there's about, you know, 10 different ways to approach most scenarios, uh, and not just the one of four. So because of that, it kind of makes it so you can't predict anything the enemy's going to do. You just kind of end up finding a spot that you like, and waiting till you see something. I mean, this could be a lack of gameplay from no scouts on your team. Uh, because like I said, I have literally never played with a teammate that's a scout. So you can't have anyone on your team mark any enemies and vice versa. So you're just kind of running around like an idiot trying to find enemies. Or uh, you'll usually have like one hot spot. Like this footage right here, I am only fighting on this specific rooftop, and you'll notice I have not really strayed from that rooftop unless I die, uh, which is only like three times or so. So this whole battle, and my teammates and the enemy are all like, well, let's stay on the rooftop. So that's what we all did this entire match. Even on the second round, we all flocked to that rooftop, and I have never seen that before. I've played on this map only two additional times, and we would I've never even climbed that rooftop before. So the matches can vary, which is cool and pretty fun, because like I said, in Metal Gear like 4, you would pretty much only have these specific hot zones or, you know, high fighting areas where you'll see all the gameplay and everything else is just kind of like, oh, there's that tunnel that no one goes in and no one hides at that box and, you know, so you're a weirdo if you do that, but... Um, I'm sure all this stuff will be established in time, and you'll have the norms and the weird things that you can do and pass to follow and whatnot. But, uh, for right now, it is a fun game, which is awesome. I'm glad it's fun, because I was worried it wasn't going to really live up to how 4 was and how fun that was. But for where we are right now, um, it is a buggy mess. Like, my 
lord. I, I tried to log on last night, no luck. I gave it a couple hours, uh, still no luck. It would keep disconnecting me from games. The auto match specifically would give me problems where it, it auto finds you into the games. Um, I didn't try custom matches because it directly tells you, hey dude, if you, if you play uh, custom matches, you're not going to get any extra XP. You're going to get a, a flat amount. And I'm like, oh, I kind of want you know as much XP as I can get. Because like I said, until you hit level 10, you kind of can't do anything. Uh, very limited in how you play and approach and whatnot. Once the matchmaking finally started working, I'd get disconnected. And I get disconnected like six games at a time. And what would happen is once I get disconnected one time, I would have to close out of Metal Gear, reopen it, launch the game again, click through all the update things again, launch Metal Gear Online again, sign into my character again, launch the auto match, find a game, get disconnected, and rinse and repeat like three times. So it is really annoying when that happens. I didn't have any problems with that today, but for when it was happening before, that was annoying. So it is very early to tell, but I do feel the gameplay is only going to get better as players have different characters, different classes to pick from, and they keep leveling them up and obtaining new gear and whatnot to that class. It's really early right now playing as the Infiltrator. For instance, all of the things I want to do, I can't do them properly with the gear that I have. I don't even have a silencer for my Trank Gun. So, uh, you know, I get one shot, one perfect shot to knock someone out. And if I miss, oh, I'm dead. You know, he knows exactly where I am. Because I'd say about <laughs> basically everyone in the game uh, is, is running around with, you know, machine guns, shotguns, every single gun to kill. Their intention is to kill you. So, if you're anything like me, where in 4, all I loved to do was to sneak up on people, throw them on the floor, stab them with the knife. Uh, I was, you know, knife 4, I believe it was, in the skill settings and whatnot. So, I, I only clearly use the knife and, like, the, the pistol. And uh, you can't really play that way anymore. I mean, the stealth camo kind of makes it easier to sneak around instead of, like, in 4 and whatnot. But um, you're still going to have problems. Uh, until you get a silencer, you get the longer stealth, which you do unlock. Um, uh, you can move faster later on, so you, you you do just get better, which is weird. Because you look at a game like Call of Duty, where you play for a substantial amount of time, and yeah, you unlock more guns and whatnot, but it, I mean, a level 1 dude could be just as good as like a 10th prestige dude. It just comes down to like how good you are. But in this game, it, it is really dependent on your gear as well. Cause like I said, you start out, you have like a machine gun that you don't want to use. Cause if you know, you probably want to knock people out like me, maybe. Uh, and you get uh, the hush puppy, which is like, okay, this is all right. Minus the fact that I have one bullet to maybe hit them, which I won't because it's semi laggy and extremely difficult to hit moving uh, player targets. Uh, which is another thing. It is so hard to knock people out, like with the the trank gun. Uh, super easy when it comes to shooting. The gameplay or the gunplay, sorry, is really, really, really uh, tight. Uh, you will hardly ever miss anyone. I mean, if you're looking at that target, he's down, he's dead, it's over. Uh, with maybe like ten bullets to the body, three or five to the head. So yeah, things do damage you. I mean, like, I, I, it, it is crazy how fast you die to everything. So, I'm going to leave you guys with the footage. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm glad I could uh, elaborate on some of the early day one issues and whatnot. If you're worried about any of the connection problems or anything, I know these will be worked out. They care about this game. They want to fix it, and they want you to keep on playing it. So... Stick it out. If you're having trouble right now, try it in a couple days. Until then, you can check out my other videos where I talk to you about all the mission tasks you can complete, and I feel they're pretty informative thus far. If you need any help with those, send me a message or leave a comment on the videos. But this is what I'm leaving you guys with. Metal Gear Solid 3 invented MGO. Metal Gear Solid 4 perfected it. And 5, well, 5 just did okay. This is Demon Fox Yoko, signing off.